Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Armin's High Life. I'd like to say hi to all of our new subscribers. Uh, today we're doing uh, just a video on a bit of maintenance on our processor. We're going to do an oil change. We're going to add a little bit of uh, hydraulic fluid and we're going to fix our, our our chainsaw bar oil thing. Because she's, she's not working today. Or she hasn't been working for a little bit now. But we're going to get uh, this piece changed out here. We're going to take it off. We're going to get it cleaned out. We're just going to double check. I'll get you guys in here. So we're going to take off the valve here. We're going to get it cleaned out. Uh, make sure it's not plugged up. I'm pretty sure it's just plugged. If not, we'll take it back. We'll take it in. We'll get a new one put on today. We're going to get our oil change done up here first. This will be our second oil change on the machine. Let's see how bad the oil is. Not too bad, definitely a little dark. We'll get it all nice, nicely cleaned out here. We got the one screw on this side, the bolt, then another nut on this side. Both of them are drain plugs. Uh, you got your, your fill right there. We'll just leave that off. We'll get uh, a little set up here and we'll get going. Hey right, guys, so we're all set up here. We got our little catch for our oil. This is a 12 mil bolt on here. We're going to get it loosened off. There we go. Let's kind of guide her a little. It is a pretty slow drain on these guys. It probably would help if I kind of tipped the machine a little bit, but we kind of already set up here, so we're just going to do it this way. These motors, they take about a liter, 1.1 liters they take about. So not that much oil. So usually right about this stream of level when it flow and coming out I usually crack the other one just to get that other little bit of air flow through it. We don't have to leak worry about it leaking out the other side now. Like most machines, I like to run a little bit of clean stuff through. Just kind of clean out if there's any grime in there. As you guys can see, it's cleaner stuff coming out now. Just let that run a little bit more and then we'll throw in the new fluid. We'll get the other side on the other end tightened up. This guy sealed up. Make 
sure your plug is always clean before you put her back in. Just get this guy tightened up here too. Just fill it up and then she'll be ready to go. Just right there, as you guys can see, she's nice filled up. She's right about there. So put the, that one in, we'll take the funnel out here. Get it in there, don't wanna to drip too much oil around. We'll just put her fill cap back on. used oil out of the way we'll grab some sawdust big clean up She's ready to go for another 20 or 30 cords. So here we got our hydraulic fluid reservoir. We're just gonna take the cap off here. We got our fill line right in here. We're just gonna wait till she gets up to in there. She's about a quarter way down it looks like right now. Well, I don't think she'll take the whole bottle, but we'll see here. Try not to leak everywhere. Might take the whole bottle here. Oh, there she goes. in here as you guys can see she's right filled up hope that zoom's on there there we go she was about right about here and we just filled it up here we could take a little bit more but she started overflowing uh once you run it a bit we could probably add the rest of this bottle we she pretty much took the whole thing Now that's done up, uh, we'll probably get that other piece for the chainsaw bar oiler off on that side and we'll finish up the maintenance on the processor today. All right guys, so now we're just doing our chainsaw bar oiler. Uh, we just got it loosened off here. I'm not too sure 
what we're gonna expect here if she's gonna start leaking out like a sieve or whatnot but we will see I'm gonna just kind of keep my finger ready here just to block it off just in case the bar oil does start running And nothing. She feels pretty clogged up though. So as you guys can see, uh, the valve here, she's pretty cleaned out. I thought it was gonna be filled up with sawdust. It's not. Looks like it's the top part. And it kind of looks like it has some dirt or even a rock in there. I'm not sure how that would have got in there. I'm gonna try to get that out. Oh, there you go. So there's definitely a rock in there or something. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much of an issue later on. There we go. Get that screwed on there properly. There. And she's filled them. Well, that was a quick easy fix hopefully that rock doesn't get in there too much more i uh, got a bit of a kinkage in our hose we'll get that straightened out here though There we go. So we got all the maintenance done. We did our chainsaw bar oiler. She's going, you can see. Oh, there's the float. So we got that fixed up. Uh, we got our oil change done here on our Honda GX390 with new oil. We got our area all cleaned up from the old oil. We did add up our hydraulic fluid, top it up. Uh, other than that, we're gonna probably sharpen up our chain on the unit and she'll be ready to bang off the last little bit of this picker truck load we have. We were gonna bang it off the other day, but we did run out of gas and with the orders, they just came pumbling in and we just haven't got back to processing. Uh, our pile, as you guys could see, it was out to here. And we dug her right into there. Uh, I did have a few photos up on her last one where it showed how much we had from the top view. I'll show you guys here again. We started selling this pretty much on Saturday. That's when our, our orders started rolling in. And uh, that's what we sold. Uh, we're gonna we still got a few more cords going out here uh, before this weekend uh, I don't think this pile is gonna last us Pretty much after I'm pretty sure it's all gonna be sold after this weekend here Let me Get down here without trying to kill myself There we go But yeah, we've been pretty busy around here 
Uh, today I just decided to get the video up. Uh, we gotta do a bit of maintenance uh, before our orders, we get them in. I'm gonna post a few pictures up here of our orders that we did on the weekend and just the past few days. All right, everybody, so that's today's video. I just want to show you guys the maintenance we do on our processor and a quick update on our yard. Uh, we got uh, here a few of our logs still. We got a process up. Our grass here is getting a little tall. Our lawnmower did die on us. We tried to fix it up, but it was a no-go. So we're gonna have to just bite the bullet and buy a new one. As you guys can tell, the grass is getting a little tall. I would like to say hi to all of our new subscribers. Hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. And uh, it's awesome to see our little communities kind of growing here. If you guys do have any suggestions on videos you guys would like to see me do, uh, please do leave them in the comment section. I would gladly like to take a peek at them. Uh, yesterday was Canada Day. Canada Day. So I like to say Happy Canada Day to all the Canadians. And it uh, looks like July 4th is coming up here for you guys down in the States. But uh, we're going to finish today's video up here. Uh, I'd like to say thanks again to the new subscribers. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next Saturday. Bye.